I had no idea who I had until we put him in the ambulance and he pulled me down over his face and he said, take care of Chrissy and the kids. That's when I knew who I had. I mean, it was a rotten damn day. This is a great <laughs> shot. <laughs> Brings back some good memories, huh? Huh? Yep. So as you know, now we've been, we've been evaluating Patrick in New York at NYU. The goal is to replace the entire face, the ears, the scalp. Um, give him, get rid of all the portions of the face that were burned in the fire and make him look normal. I'm here going to NYU for the uh, face transplant. Got listed for the transplant list on August the 8th of 2014. I'm not nervous, I'm excited because I'm ready for everything to get going. But it's just a day by day thing, you know. You get up every morning, you think it's the day of the day, you know. You And then just the next day the same way. It's just, that's how it is. So hopefully it'll happen soon. It's in God's hand, so it'll happen when he's ready for it to happen. I know he's got an angel out there for me somewhere and he's gonna call it home one day and you know hopefully when that day comes that family is strong because I cannot imagine losing somebody at a young age and then having to be asked to, to give what they're asking to give. When we think about a new life I think what most people want to hear is the drama of a new face. But when you actually ask these individuals what is it that they miss or what they consider, you'd be surprised the things that we take for granted every day that for them is a new beginning. So today um, will be the first time that we're going to let him look at himself. We've been preparing him for this event, so it's a big day. So here we go. Yeah. We're going to get, give me your hand. So go ahead and just turn that around and just take a close look at it. Let me see a gauze. What do you see in there? Take a look at that. Open your eyes real big and take a look. You see your hair growing? You see your beard? It's good. And you see how your lips are nice and normal? They used to be much more swollen than they are right now. You see how nice your nose is? What do you think about your ears? This is something that's great, right? How great is that? On a weekly basis, a different fireman that was with him at the time of injury comes up and spends time with him. I know that deep inside he's excited from what he's feeling. So he's doing very well. Um, keep in mind that as your father, as your son, he's going to want to be that person that he used to be. But our goal is to support him and help him and not allow him to force himself to be that person. We're getting there, but he's doing fantastic. He's gonna be very excited to see all of you. All right. Let's wait that. Oh, it's so good to see you. You look so good. You know what's interesting about a person, and I've learned a lot and I've studied this a lot, even though we change their face, what makes a person is who they are. Their voice, their mannerisms, the person who they are, and that's what we begin to recognize as a person, right? And you knew your dad without a normal face, 
And it's the same dad now with a normal face. And you've loved him the same way, and you're going to continue to love him the same way. And nothing will change.